Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? All right, today we're sitting here with, with Crippy. Yo, sit with Yo, what's up, what's up? How you doing, man? Yo, um, what Hi, building you in? Huh? What building you in? I'm in MCC, man. All right, um, just because uh we, we kind of curious, a lot of us want to know what's going on. Who you up in there with? Anybody you can name? I'm Sam B. Back and drama, Luke in here, Harv in here, Kuda in here, and motherfucking um, Fu in here too. All right, copy. All right, so um, I'm back in drama though. Oh, that's the, oh, so y'all together? Yeah. Copy. Uh, I always let everybody know I said what's up. Hope everybody's doing good. Uh, no, free the homies. I'm sorry, y'all brothers is going through what y'all going through. Um. Yeah, that's a fact. Uh, got a couple of questions. Um, the first question I want to ask is, was there any point where you thought that things might go left? I'm saying when the things is going on, you you wouldn't thought that it was going. Let's call it from a federal prison. You wouldn't have thought that it would have came out the way it came out, but the way that shit came out was crazy, man. I wouldn't have thought boy was gonna give it up that crazy, to the guard. Yeah, I hear that. Um, so uh, j just. I, I want to ask a question about CEO Chris. Did you know him? I've seen him a couple of times. I ain't know him like that, though. He was never around me. Copy. All right, so um, I'm going to ask you a couple of Takashi questions, but I just want to know something. Do Did you hear about what happened in court? Yeah, I heard what happened. Um, from, from what you heard about what happened in court... Who do you think testimony uh, hurt, you know, your brother's worst, CEO Chris's or Takashi's? Man, Takashi's shit was crazy, man. CEO Chris' shit was crazy, but Takashi, his, his, his testimony was, like, off the wall crazy, man. Like, that shit fucked a lot of people up in here, man. Um, for everybody... Fuck me, uh, for me being around him. For everybody that don't know, you used to be with Takashi every day, right? Yeah. Um, just for the rest of us who never really got a time to, like, how is he, like, just, how did, how did you and him interact, if you don't mind me asking? How did me and him interact? I'm saying, we was cool, you know, I was working, you know, I was doing a security thing for him, I mean, from Shadi, you know, Shadi, that's my guy from the town, or whatever, and he bring me around, I mean, to do the security thing for him, or whatever. Alright, so, uh, was you there when the LAX situation happened? Nah, I wasn't there, I came after that. Okay, so, um, uh, as, as far as with some of the situation that actually went on and happened, what what is something that you feel like you could talk on and, and tell us about with, with, you know, with some kind of real knowledge of it? And, and only something that, you know, you could talk about, not something that might get somebody jammed up. Certain shit, certain shit ain't for, like, you know, you know, everybody know what happened because everything was all over the media, whatever the case may be or whatnot. Yeah, I don't want you to. I don't want you to expose nothing. I we just, I just want to know like your how you felt when some of these things that we already know about was going down. Like, were you there when uh, the situation happened at the This Is Fifty? Yeah, I was there. Um, can, can you give us a feeling of how you felt about the situation while it was going down? Man, the shit was crazy. Like, you know what I'm saying, nigga, see. Niggas that niggas saw, niggas did what niggas did or whatever, but, I mean, you know, it's the streets, man, it's the hood, it's the hood, you know what I'm saying? So, a certain shit happened, like, it just happened so fast, so you can't, you can't turn back what happened, man, you know what I'm saying? That's a fact. There's some lady saying that y'all robbed her. Is that true? Was there a lady nah, there? ain't nobody robbed no, man, we don't rob no ladies, man, ain't nobody <laughs> robbed no ladies, man. Yo, she's crazy. She was on, um, shout out to Tasha K. Tasha K didn't believe her either, I don't think. She was on Tasha K. She's on the internet getting interviews and everything, talking about how, uh, the Treyway robbed her. That's crazy, right? 
my dude, I said the same. I said the same thing. I'm like, as far as I know with these guys, I've never heard about them doing anything to no women and children and shit like that. That's... Uh, I don't know. You don't do nothing to women and children. Man. That, that's a whole fact. That, that I don't know. She, Like you said, she just cloud chasing. She trying to get involved in the action or whatever. Um... Um, just, just, uh, as far as how the relationship with, uh, uh, Shadi and Takashi was, were they close? Would you say that? Yeah, they was close. That was just like, was like his little brother, you feel what I'm saying? That was a little, that was a little homie, man. That was his little brother, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, I get you. So they got a, 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 a audio out that we've been listening to today. And the first time I heard it, see, this is the, this is the problem when we have, uh, media outlets, who they jump the gun. And what happens is when one guy jumps the gun, sometimes the uh, the people after them hear it and they hear what the first people said. Even though the first people don't mean harm. It's just that's what happened. So they have this audio out there where Shadi is basically saying something and they're trying to say that Shadi was trying to line up Sarah. Now initially with me hearing it, I was thinking kind of the same thing, but now I don't think that at all. I think that is... Huh? What the fuck you gonna lie off for? Exactly. Like, do no shit like that, man. Exactly. Now that me hearing it, I was like, nah, that can't be it. But um, nah, at all. Ain't doing no shit like that. At all, I didn't think so either. That's why I had to re-listen to it myself. You know, with my with clean ears, not with somebody else's opinion in my in my in my. I just wanted to get. The media motherfuckers always be looking for shit to put out there. Um, it makes somebody look bad or some other shit. Man. Yeah, that's a whole fact. Um. Could I ask you a question real quick? What about that Snow Billy guy? Man, fuck that nigga's a fucking rat, man. Snow Billy's a fucking clown. Oh, really? Yeah, that nigga's a fucking clown. That nigga's a fucking liar. Only thing that nigga do is lie. He's another clout chasing ass nigga, man. A nigga named Snow Silly, man. <laughs> yeah, that nigga named Snow Silly, man. He's a fucking clown. Uh, oh, is that bad, copy? I got you. Um, so uh, real quick. Um, just so everybody don't know, how much, uh, how many months did they give you? How much time did they give you? Oh, uh, they gave me 62 months. That's like five years and two months. And what was your charges that they, that they, uh, you, that you got found, that you pled out to, if you don't mind me asking? Um, uh, possession, possession to a firearm and a Hobbs Act robbery. All right. There's something that I want to say and salute to you, my brother. I'm going to tell you about a situation and why I'm saluting you on it. Just I'm, I'm saluting you, period. But this one particular situation that I, I just think that there's some real... I don't use the N-word on this channel, but I'm going to use it in this particular case. And I just think it was some real nigga shit. Um, so the story goes that after the This Is 50 situation happened... Uh, Let's call it from a federal prison. For whatever the reason is, uh, Takashi had to get on the train with a weapon. And from the story that I heard, you went and took the weapon from Takashi so he didn't have to carry it around and then took him home. Is this correct? Yeah. Now, you were Takashi security at most times also, right? That's what they bring you around for, right? Yeah. Now, I've said on this channel multiple times, I think Treyway has the best security in hip-hop. I'm like, yo, there is no rappers running around right now with better security than Treyway. Period. I've said that multiple times. And I'm just saying, I want to tell you, like, this is about as face-to-face -face as we could get for the foreseeable future, that that was just some, some of the most real nigga shit I've ever heard. You didn't have to take that weapon from that dude. You ain't had to hold him down like that. And you also didn't have to make sure he got to wherever he needed to get to. So, salute to you, my brother. I appreciate that. You know, that's just how real niggas is. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. Um, anything that, that you would like to let the public know about, just you yourself in general, any people you want to, you know, uh, you know, send, send, send well wishes to or anything? I mean, I just wish my son back, get the best time and this shit, man. I mean, I shout out to my son Shadi, Melly, and all these niggas, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to myself, you know, we real niggas, man, we gonna hold it down regardless of whatever it is, I mean, we ain't gonna fold. They ain't gonna bitch up like six nine did, like how these other niggas did and all that, you know what I'm saying? You come from the way we come from and do the shit that we do, man, you know? This is what happens, you know what I'm saying? That's a lesson learned, you know what I'm saying? You try to hold niggas down and do the right thing by them. You just shit, no niggas trying to random bite you on your ass for it, you know what I'm saying? That happens. So That's I all no niggas locked down, holding them down out there. It's federal system and all that, man. 
A real quick question. This is just probably going to be a little bit the padding on the back of myself, but you, you I'm assuming that you've uh, heard about the BBN Network, me, Jack Frost, before. How accurate do the information on this channel usually be? Just I'm just asking. Oh, nah, everything be a hundred on no, you. Keep it official. That's why I fuck with you. That's why I did it. I ain't never do this shit with nobody else. You know what I'm saying I ain't really with this interview shit and all that, but I fuck with you and I. I mean, you give out all the right shit, talk all the real shit, you know what I mean? So, it's only right that I came and did this interview for you, you know what I'm saying? Because I fucked you, your shit is a hundred. Appreciate you, my brother, that's a whole fact. Um, well, a, a couple of things that I, because I, I, I remember the first time we got introduced to you. Shoddy was in the car, and, the, um, and, and he was on his live, and that was the first time he let everybody know, yo, this is creepy. You know what I'm talking about. All right, so that was the first time that that I personally got a chance to see you. Um, that was when you first. That is that when you started working with them and uh, being security. Nah, I've been I've been around ever since from after that LAX situation came and took place or whatever. You know, a lot of shit happened and you know, shit fell out of line and you know I just came to put everything back together and make sure everything was right. So I came and got you know couple real rights, you know, official licensed niggas and, you know, niggas that do the same thing and not just like some hood niggas and all that, some real professionals to do the right thing to keep, you know, boys right. You know what I'm saying? Not for nothing, but I use your pick a lot. Like, I, there's a couple of picks that you're in with uh, Takashi and I use them as a thumbnails quite often, not for nothing. So, yeah, I just want to let you know, you're, you're kind of all over the channel. Just, you know, throw that out there. Yeah. Alright, so what you got? A couple of seconds left, right? Um, um, one thing I really do appreciate you coming over here talking to us, my brother. That's a whole fact. Um, you definitely, you know, you're a friend of the channel. We we hope it. I don't know what to say to be honest with you. I'm sorry that y'all brothers got to go through what y'all going through. Um, I I honestly don't know what to say, but you some strong dudes out there. As far as I know, like I said, Treyway had the best security in hip hop, and that's a whole fact, and can't nobody dispute that. Um, anything you want to go out with before they cut you off? I mean, free the fucking guys, man. I mean, shout out to all my locs out there, man. All the thirds and all that, man. Shout out to my family, my kids and all that, man. That's a fact. Y'all niggas stay sucker free. Stay sucker free. Stay away from these suckers, man. Y'all hold it down, man. Stay real for yourself and others, man. That's a fact. Don't let these suckers win. That's a whole fact. Anyway, uh, as you can see, they just cut him off. That was the end of his time. That was Crippy. Shout out to Crippy calling into the channel. Um, yo, that's all I got on this one, y'all. Uh, leave some comments down below. If y'all have any questions for Crippy, uh, I'm a, we might be able to get him on here again. If y'all got any questions for Crippy, leave them down in the comment section. And uh, I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.